So let's have an honest conversation about rape culture. And I'm going to tell you, as a men's rights activist, how I really feel about rape culture. I don't agree with the feminist definition of rape culture. I don't think we have a rape culture in the United States or almost anywhere in the world. I think that rape is something that is despised and illegal pretty much everywhere on the planet. And the idea that culture or society supports it to me just doesn't make any sense. This was a post on the against hate subreddits subreddit. This is a subreddit that hates um, the men's rights movement and is always posting negative things about us. And this particular post accused us of not taking rape seriously and contributing to misogyny because we don't take rape culture seriously. Take a look. Our men's rights says that rape culture against women is a myth. Now, just to be clear, again, almost any MRA anywhere in the world, and any person anywhere in the world, I mean, 99% of human beings will agree that rape is a very serious problem. And virtually anybody will agree that rape is a very horrible crime and a very horrible thing and a very serious issue. The question is, is it something that is a culture? Is rape culture something that is ingrained in society? I would say no. And I would ask to think about this question. When you watch movies or TV, for example, Game of Thrones, which scenes bother you more? Like, which scenes are more uncomfortable to watch? Rape scenes or murder scenes? Or maybe let's say battle scenes. So which scenes are more uncomfortable? A scene of thousands of people being killed and slaughtered in a battle and their heads cut off and they're stabbed and their guts are spilling out and they're dying or a rape scene. Most people would say the more uncomfortable scene to watch is a rape scene. What does that say about how society feels about rape? Society completely despises rape. Rape is one of the very worst things a human being can do. And even in prison, even in the convict system, convicts have assigned rapists and sex offenders as the lowest of the low. When someone goes to prison for rape or any sex crime, they are seen as the lowest of the low of the social hierarchy. They are despised even in prison. Even other convicts hate rapists. So the idea that rape is somehow supported by culture or society to me just doesn't really make any sense. So back to the post. Uh, this was on the against hate subreddits post, which I've linked below. It says more anti-feminist propaganda. And then it shows this link to uh, a men's rights post that it was talking about. Uh, I've linked that below where the poster on men's rights makes the argument that rape culture is overblown and a myth using statistics on rape and law. You can read that if you want to. It more or less says the same arguments that I'm making here. Uh, but let's go back to the against hate subreddits post. They're trying to make it sound like MRAs are to blame for rape and rape culture, as if we're denying a serious problem. And I feel that's not fair. Let's take a look at the main argument here. Apparently, rape culture against women is, quote, blatantly false, according to men's rights. Because rape against women is recognized, that somehow means it doesn't exist? So if a terrorist attack is recognized as a terrorist attack, it wasn't a terrorist attack? Like that argument doesn't make any sense. Like, MRAs are not saying that rape isn't a serious problem. We're not saying it's not a terrible thing. We're just saying that the idea that it's a cultural thing or something that society accepts just doesn't make any sense. And if you want to address the problem properly, you need to be honest and accurate about the problem. So blaming rape on some kind of cultural standard isn't really helpful because you're not looking at the actual problem. And in my opinion, the actual problem with rape is that there are some people who don't care about hurting other people. There are people who will do bad things even if they know it's bad things. And yes, there are some people that can change. And yeah, it's worthwhile giving education as to consents and appropriate behavior. But there are some people who, if they sit in a sexual consent class, and a lot of colleges are doing classes now about consent and appropriate behavior. And a lot of workplaces too. 
give seminars on what is a harassment and what is the appropriate way to treat your coworkers. There are some people who they don't care. They know it's wrong, but they do it anyway. And the reason why you know that's definitely true is because most rapists will deny it and try and hide it and try and lie about it. If they didn't think it was wrong, they wouldn't try and hide it or deny it or lie about it. They know it's wrong. They do it anyway. And so the idea of trying to assign it off as a cultural problem rather than a human problem, I think is almost counterproductive and just really not true, especially when you consider what I said before. Rape, pretty much almost anywhere, is something that is despised by society and very much illegal and is usually punished very harshly. And yes, it is true that sometimes rape is not adequately punished in court and rapists get away with it. But that's the problem of court systems. I mean, sometimes murderers get away with it or bank robbers get away with it. I mean, it does happen. It doesn't mean that society or police or the court system hates the idea of punishing rape or is somehow supportive of rape or it's some cultural standard of ours. That doesn't, doesn't make any sense. And to blame MRAs for that just because we say this is really not fair. Now, this line here is something that I really don't like. And notice they put it in bold, too. If you cannot see that women in our culture have it harder, you are feeding the systemic misogyny. I mean, that's such an absolute generalizing statement, which isn't even the same point this was making. The point of this post was supposed to be if you don't recognize rape culture. Then it was expanded to if you don't see it as women have it harder, then you are contributing to the systemic misogyny, which means you are contributing to rape culture, which is basically trying to say, if you don't agree with us and you don't agree with feminism in every way and you support men's rights or the men's rights subreddit in any way, then you're to blame for this. You're responsible. You're contributing to the misogyny, which contributes to this problem. So you're indirectly a part of this problem. So you're not allowed to disagree. You're not allowed to say, well, listen, you know, I don't agree with the way you're saying this. Like, I agree, rape's a problem, but I don't agree with your theory of rape culture, and I don't agree that's the best approach. No, 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 you can't say that. Now you're contributing to cultural misogyny. Cultural rape is now your fault as well because you're not agreeing with exactly what they're saying. So you can have a conversation about the theory and you can have a conversation about the root cause or the best solution without being blamed for being a part of the problem. So now, if you go to the men's rights subreddit and you support it, or if you support the men's rights movement, or if you disagree with feminists on rape culture, now they're saying that you are indirectly to blame for this because by opposing the idea that we're putting forward, what you're doing is you're encouraging systemic misogyny. And thus, you are encouraging rape culture. And so even disagreeing with them is to them proving their point. Because they're saying, yeah, look, they're doing exactly what we're saying because they're disagreeing with us. And that's such a disingenuous, unfair argument to make. Because someone can say, I agree that this problem in society exists but I don't agree with why you're saying it's happening, and I don't agree with the best solution for it. And the way that the men's rights movement is considered a hate movement, and the subreddit is considered a hate subreddit, just for saying that is completely ridiculous, and just not fair, and just not true, and it hurts the conversation, and it hurts progress on the issue. Because now what you're saying is you're not allowed to have any other idea on how the problem should be addressed and why it happens in the first place.